Earthship Biotecture, a revolution in sustainable living. Biotecture emerges as a revolutionary approach to creating homes that work for us, not against us. Developed by visionary architect Michael Reynolds, Biotecture is more than just a building technique. It's a philosophy of living that intertwines human habitation with the natural world in a harmonious, sustainable way. At its core, biotecture aims to create structures that are alive, that breathe with the earth, and that support not just human life, but the entire ecosystem around them. Unlike conventional architecture that often fights against natural forces, biotecture works in concert with them. A biotecture home doesn't just sit on the land, it becomes an integral part of it, blurring the lines between inside and outside, the built environment and the natural world. One of the key principles of biotecture is self-sufficiency. The goal is to create buildings that meet their own needs for power, water and even food production freeing occupants from the burden of utility bills and reducing dependency on external systems. Imagine living in a home that generates its own electricity from the sun and wind, collects and purifies its own water from rain and snow, and even grows fresh, organic produce right inside the living space. This is the promise of biotecture, a home that sustains itself and its inhabitants. Another foundational concept in biotecture is the idea that waste is simply a misplaced resource. In a biotecture home, the concept of waste doesn't exist. Everything is viewed as a potential asset waiting to be utilized. Old tires, for example, are packed with earth and used as super insulating load bearing walls. Discarded glass bottles find new life as beautiful, light-transmitting bricks. Even human waste is treated as a resource, cycled through botanical cells to become nutrition for food-producing plants. In this way, biotecture not only reduces the environmental impact of construction, but actively turns waste streams into valuable inputs. Thermal mass and passive solar design are also key to biotecture's energy efficiency. By using dense materials like earth-packed tires and thick adobe walls, biotecture homes can store heat from the sun during the day and release it slowly at night, moderating indoor temperatures naturally. Strategic placement of windows and skylights allows the sun to heat the home in winter while shading and ventilation keep it cool in summer. When designed correctly, a biotecture home can maintain a comfortable indoor climate year-round, with little or no need for mechanical heating or cooling systems, resulting in substantial energy savings. Water autonomy is another pillar of biotecture. Through integrated systems of rainwater catchment, grey water recycling and black water treatment, a biotecture home can provide for all its water needs independent of municipal supply. Rainwater is collected from the roof and stored in cisterns for drinking and household use. Grey water from sinks and showers is filtered and reused for irrigation. Even black water from toilets is treated on site in botanical cells with the nutrients used to feed non-edible plants. This closed-loop water system not only reduces water bills but provides resilience in the face of increasing water scarcity and infrastructure challenges. Perhaps one of the most exciting aspects of biotecture is its potential for integrated food production. Many biotecture designs, such as the famous Earthship, incorporate greenhouse spaces where occupants can grow fresh fruits, vegetables and herbs year-round. These in-home gardens not only provide healthy organic produce, but also contribute to interior air purification and humidity control. 
Grey water from the home is used to irrigate the plants, while plant transpiration helps to humidify the indoor air. In this way, the house and its inhabitants support each other in a symbiotic relationship. The modular and scalable nature of biotecture principles means they can be applied to structures of any size and adapted to various climates, needs, and budgets. Whether building a small studio cottage or a large community centre, the same ideas of self-sufficiency, waste recycling, passive solar design, water autonomy, and integrated food production can be employed to create buildings that are not just environmentally friendly, but financially and socially sustainable. In an era of economic uncertainty, climate change, resource depletion, and increasing stress on urban infrastructure, biotecture offers compelling solutions. By creating affordable, energy-independent, water-secure, waste-reducing, food-producing homes, biotecture can help alleviate many of the pressures facing individuals and society as a whole. It provides a pathway to more accessible home ownership, greater resilience in the face of climate instability, improved food security and health, and a deeper connection to the natural world that supports mental and spiritual well-being. The most well-known and fully realized expression of biotecture is the Earthship a type of passive solar home made from natural and upcycled materials such as earth-packed tires, cans and bottles. Earthships embody all the key principles of biotecture in a beautiful, organic form that blends seamlessly with the landscape. They are designed to be comfortable in any climate without reliance on fossil fuels or grid-tied utilities to produce their own power from renewable sources, to harvest their own water from rain and snowmelt, to treat their own wastewater and reuse it for food production, and to provide a significant amount of their own food through indoor and outdoor gardens. However, one does not need to build a full-fledged earthship to begin realizing the benefits of biotecture. The beauty of these principles is that they can be applied incrementally to both new construction and existing buildings. Renovations and retrofits can incorporate elements of passive solar design, rainwater harvesting, grey water recycling, and edible landscaping to move towards greater self-sufficiency and sustainability. Even small changes, like adding thermal mass, improving insulation, or starting a container garden, can make a difference in reducing bills, increasing resilience, and enhancing quality of life. In the end, biotecture is about more than just changing how we build. It's about changing how we live. It invites us to question the assumptions of the status quo and to reimagine our relationship with the resources that sustain us. It challenges us to think not in terms of scarcity and limitation, but in terms of abundance and possibility. Most of all, it empowers us to create living spaces that are not just shelters, but thriving ecosystems of which we are an integral part. As we navigate an uncertain future, the principles of biotecture offer a beacon of hope and a pathway to resilience. By learning to partner with nature, to close the loops of our resource use, and to create homes that give more than they take, we can begin to build a world that works for all. The journey to this more sustainable, more interconnected way of life starts with understanding the potential of biotecture and it continues with the choices each of us makes about how we want to live on this one precious earth we call home. And remember, the future is in our hands. Let's make it sustainable.